Hi everyone! I know I have been doing Christmas themes for December and I decided that I would do this page, this one, not this one, in a Christmassy theme. Now you know that I'm not a fan of doodling and drawing so I'm not going to draw on the lanterns, I'm just going to colour them in and I'm going to use some Christmas colours and I just thought it might be really good fun to show you. It's not going to be too difficult, it's just going to be um, Christmassy and fun. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and just show you um, what my plans are. I'm not quite sure which lanterns we choose, it depends on where my camera wants to zoom. Okay we'll do the middle row. Here we go. Now what I thought was I was going to do some red and some green, really sort of traditional Christmas colours. I've grabbed out some pencils. I've actually grabbed out my Artezas. Now I've got a rose red and a crimson red. I think they might work. I'm just seeing what else I've got. Yeah. So I'm going to oops, find my sharpener. I'm going to start with the rose red. And we're also going to add some sparkle. It's Christmas after all. So I'm going to start with the the um, the rose red is a little bit paler. So we're going to do a layer of the rose. Really simple, nice and easy. And what I'm going to do with this page is I'm going to do every other lantern red and green to uh, give a Christmas feel. And it's going to be quite samey, I suppose. You don't have to do it this way. But uh, it's just, just the idea I had, really. I just thought it would be fun. So we'll see how it pans out. So as I said, I'm going to try and get an even but fairly solid layer across here. And that's I find that fairly easy with these Artezas. They seem to uh, block down quite well. There we go. So it's fairly even. It's not brilliant, but you know. It's not going in the Tate. Crimson red is my oops next colour and what I'm going to do is I want it to be a little bit darker around the edge. So I'm actually going to put a thick layer around the edge here like that and then a bit less so sort of scumble it in towards the middle and the idea is that we might get the effect it looks like we've got a little bit of a glow coming from the centre. It's not going to be huge, just a little. I'm happy with that. It's not going to be massive, as I say. could do it really dark and get more of an effect, but I just want to keep it really light and simple. I'm going to do the green one next before I move on to the um, sparkle. I'm just choosing the right colour. Um, I want... Hmm, let's see. Sorry, I've got to move around my pencils a little bit. Have a look. Um, yeah. Hmm. That work? Yeah. I'll try this. So I'm going to use the fern green first. Oh, that was a very quick showing. I shall show it more. And the jade green. So here's the fern green, and we're going to do what we did with our lighter red. This is our lighter green. So we're just going to put down a nice even layer. Now if I was doing this um, for myself, um, I would do all these green ones in one go and then um, all the red and then, you know, it's quicker than keep chopping and changing pencils. However, I know that it can feel a bit tedious if you're doing the same colour over and over. So uh, it sort of depends on your mindset. Let's say I would find it quicker to uh, do all this one colour first and so that's how I would approach it. So there's our green, that's quite pale isn't it? But hopefully it'll work with this jade green which seems really quite dark. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to sharpen it a bit. I want it to be um, to stay in the lines if I can. Ha! Oh, that's a bit of a joke for me isn't it? So going around the edge, you can see it's quite a bit darker actually, that's okay. You know, if you want to be sure of what colours you're getting, you know, swatch them first. If you're not, I'm not too familiar with the Artezas, I've used them, haven't used them loads, you know. I tend to use them for um, larger areas or backgrounds, I find that's where they really come into their own. If you want small details, I'm not so keen on them for that. But uh, they're a really good, useful sort of pencil to mix in with other ones. 
so that's good but I thought they would work well for this picture and I'm happy with the results they're giving me so there we go we can leave that in the middle so we've got a little light of it you could go over that in a yellow to make it look more glowy but I don't want to do that I don't know if it's gonna yellow and green might look a bit weird anyway so I would do that with all of them but that's we we'll just leave it at those two and we'll get some sparkles um what should I use Hang on. I'm gonna use these oh let me just zoom out so you can see what they are these are glitter pens the brand is Shans it's quite a strange brand um, they come from a website called Grabby they actually sent them to me to test I've got to remember which is which that's the red and mm, I've got to test them out actually because one of the greens has gold glitter in it and that isn't what I want um, I think that's the gold one. Oh, I just got it on my finger. The only thing with these is they don't come off very well. I'm just tipping those in the light so I can see them. That one's blue. That one's green with yellow glitter. We'll get there in a minute. Sorry. See, look, I'm just swatching them on that piece of paper with that important number on it. Um, I think we're going to have to go with the green with the gold glitter because the other one for me is too bluey. So that's this one, and the red, yeah, that number is um, is my meter reading. It's very, very exciting. I don't know how you can contain yourself now you know what excitement I have been up to. Right, so the red, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. So this is the red, and I'm going to do a line here of red, and a line here and one there and I'm going to do a little bit on here so I'm going to do a bit there so basically every uh, every lantern is going to have some red and some green sparkle to just tie them together now I'm going to use my green one to do here and here it might not look very sparkly at the minute, but I shall um, I shall let you see in a bit. Now you could add a long line to the string here, but I'm not brave enough to do that. I think I could very easily make it look a horrible mess. So I'm going to leave it as the black line and uh, that Johanna's drawn. So there's the green. You can use any glitter pens, metallic pens, anything ready for this. Have some fun. Uh, let's see. There we go. You can see the glitter. The red doesn't actually look very glittery, but the green certainly does. So what's going on with that red? It seems to run out of glitter. It looked glittery on the on the swatch. It doesn't look so glittery on the page. Strange. Give it a scribble and try again. It might be because they've been lying down. I think sometimes with various with pens you have to be a bit careful with how you treat them. They don't like to be certainly don't like to be in a in a pot with their bottoms downwards because then the ink runs down to the bottom. There, that's more sparkly. So there we are, there are sparkle lanterns, it's really simple, it's a really simple idea and uh, it's been quite a quick video but I shall um, do the whole page like that because I just want to add some Christmas sparkle to my book. So uh, that's that's me, so I hope that was really interesting for you, um, I hope it was okay um, and gave you a bit of a different idea and of course you don't have to just do red and green, you can do all sorts of different colours and add some sparkle and glitter as you go. So thank you so much for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>